Hey folks, if you're new, my name is Peter Uckies. For the past few years, I've made a living selling online courses, and I'll show you in this video how I do that and how you can do it too. Because making a living selling online courses is actually a lovely thing to do. You're helping people in a very direct way. You're using your expertise to add value to the world. You're using your expertise to make money. And you can do all this from wherever you like, from the comfort of your home, which is helpful in a global pandemic, but you can also do it while traveling, for example. Let's hope that travel at some point will be possible again, right? You don't have a boss. You don't have to answer to anybody else. It's really a great way to make a living. Now, I'll show you a general overview in this video. I won't go too deep on the exact how-to steps, but if you're interested in that, in more of that kind of content from me, let me know, leave a comment on this video and tell me that because I'd be happy to create sort of in-depth how-to videos on that topic if there's interest from people. Okay, online courses, very popular right now. In the pandemic, I think more and more people are discovering them, so it's a great time to get in to making online courses. And you may be thinking, what can I create an online course on? I don't really have an idea for a topic or anything like that. Everybody has something to teach. That's not a problem. There will be something that you have to teach other people that they find valuable, okay? And we're not gonna get into that in this video either, but don't worry, that's not the problem. Let me give you an overview of how it works, and then you can just let that simmer a little bit, and I guarantee you, your brain's gonna come up with ideas for online courses that you could build and that you could sell that are valuable to other people that they will pay you for and that you can use to supplement your existing income or just to make a living entirely. All right, let me start here. When you're making online courses, there's kind of two things that you need. You need a place to put the course that you make, right? So your course might consist of videos, text, audio, PDFs, images. So you need a place to put those things. And then second, you need people to sell it to, okay? The best way to have a, an audience, a collection of people to sell it to, is to have an email list. Okay, so to use software where you maintain a list of people's email addresses who have expressed an interest in your things so you can email them to share value, to share value, to share value, and then eventually to sell them something. Okay, that's the basic process. So I will show you what platform I use to host my courses, which is Teachable. And I will also show you which software I use to run my email list, which is ConvertKit. And along the way, I'll kind of tell you how it all fits, fits together. Okay. Let me open up Teachable. So right now we're in the dashboard of my Teachable um, account, okay? Teachable is a platform that lets you host online courses. Let's start with the course part. So if I have a course on Teachable, okay? You'll see a list of my courses right here and I click into one. And I go into curriculum. You'll see that this makes it really easy for you to create modules. For example, this is a course I have on a task manager called OmniFocus, okay? We'll have modules, and within modules there are lectures, okay? And you can just organize that really easily. I can go into one lesson, um, for example, a lesson called Process Your Email with OmniFocus Meal Drop, and you'll see that the lesson has some text, the lesson has a video, and some more text. People can leave comments. So if I preview this lesson, it kind of looks like this. Okay, you'll see that this is from the student's perspective. On the left, you'll see that people can go through the course, and there's all the modules and the lessons, and then there's the lesson content. So you got a title, you got your... You know, your text, you got your video. People can watch the video. The video starts playing. Uh, looks like this, okay? And at the bottom, people can leave comments. This particular lesson doesn't have comments, but a lot of my lessons do. And then I can answer people's questions, you know, to help them along. So it's one thing that Teachable does. It literally hosts the content for you, okay? Um, you can obviously take payments through Teachable. So if I go to pricing, you can see that the current pricing of my courses is I have two pricing plans. Okay, so there's a regular edition and a premium edition. I can set prices and I can go and, um, I guess I would have to make a new price. I can go and have different pricing plans. Um, for example, people can pay like in three installments or something like that, which I don't like to do, but some people like. Um, like I said, you can have premium editions. You can make a course free. So if I go back to my courses, I actually have a free course called Choosing the Right Task Manager for you. So by the way, if you're not feeling super organized, not feeling super productive, you might benefit from using a really good task manager. You might want to take this free course. Okay, so I'll put the link to this free course in the description below the video. Um, and so this is also, this is a short course that I made, just like nine lessons or something like that. Um, and it's super easy. So Teachable lets you host the content of your online course. 
and then it lets you sell it, okay? And of course, to sell it, you need a sales page. So if I go back into my OmniFocus course, within the platform Teachable, you can make a sales page. So if you're not a person who has a lot of web development experience, or if you have no web development experience, this is gonna be super handy for you. You can just click add a sales page for your course, and it just looks like this. There's like a, some example stuff in here right now, but you'll see your course curriculum here. So whatever lessons you've added in the modules will like show up so people can see it. Like if we click preview, we can go look at this page and click and you see all the modules in your course. Um, you can show the pricing options and you can like talk about related products that you have. You know, you can tell people, um, for example, like this, let's go to the top, to the banner and we'll say, are you feeling disorganized or unproductive? So now if people come to this page, they'll know what this course is about, right? Um, so your sales page is built in, in Teachable. Like I said, people can leave comments, you can like make coupons to do discounts. For example, I had a Black Friday discount and stuff like that. Um, and it's all super convenient. And Teachable will pay you out. So if I go to sales over here, um, Teachable will pay me every now and then. It'll collect all the sales that I've made and send them literally to my PayPal account. And from there, oh, this doesn't seem to be loading. And from there, um, I can you know, transfer that money to my bank account and it's, it's money for me to spend, right? So it's super easy, really convenient. And you, and you need something like this when you wanna sell online courses. I'm just clicking through it to show you how easy it is. You see like there's like um, student account management built in because of course, when you build an online course, you only want it to be available. You don't just wanna throw it up on a website. You want it to be available only to people that actually paid you for it. And so that's built in as well. Super convenient, super easy to use. Um, and then it has this nice dashboard where everything is sort of like summed up. For example, you can see like how much money I made today, how much money I made this month so far, et cetera, et cetera. Not bad for only eight days into the month. Um, and that's one thing that I guess is so important, like online courses just scale so well. So if you have something to teach people, a skill that you have, you know, maybe every now and then you're teaching a friend how to do something or whatever. If you turn that into an online course, you can really reach a lot of people or, or it could, could be the thing you do professionally, right? If you're like a web designer, you make a course on web design and um, you start selling that to people, you can really make a lot of money by, because it scales so well, right? You make it once and then, you know, uh, first you get a couple people going through it, then tens, then hundreds, then thousands, right? Okay, so that's part one. You need a place to put your course and I recommend teachable. Now, the second thing is you need people to sell it to, okay? So you need an audience. Now, the absolute number one best way to maintain an audience is to have an email list. So what I do is I send, I maintain an email list, and I'll show you right here in ConvertKit. Right now, I've got about 2,900 people on my email list, of which I think about 2,600 actually subscribe to weekly emails from me. So every Sunday, I send out an email with some reflections on productivity-related topics, okay? Something that happened in my life, something that happened in uh, one of my students' lives and that they told me about, something I helped a student with. And this doesn't take that much time, but I send an email to 2,600 people every week, and these people are hearing from me every week, okay? And I'm offering them value. I'm teaching them stuff in these emails. And so then when I come along and I say, hey, guys, uh, I have a new course. You may be interested in it want to buy. Um, they really may be keen to because I'm on their mind all the time, okay? So and having an email list is so important. And the app I use for this is called ConvertKit. ConvertKit over here. Um, and by the way, I'll put links to Teachable and ConvertKit in the description below the video. Um, if you sign up through my links, uh, I'll, I'll be compensated just a little bit. I uh, would really appreciate if you did that. It would really, uh, it's a great way for you to show support for me. So um, if you do sign up for Teachable or ConvertKit, uh, use the links in the description below. Um, ConvertKit makes it super easy to maintain an email list, okay? And how does this work? So let's say I make an online course and I want to sell it to people. Then I want to first get in front of people. So I can do that, for example, here on YouTube, or I can do that in a podcast. I recently launched a podcast. It's called How They Get Stuff Done. So you can check that out as well in your favorite podcast app, How They Get Stuff Done. Or I can make something like a free PDF, which is something that I did with my weekly review cheat sheet. So I made a little PDF that's a cheat sheet for doing a weekly review, which is such an important task management tool, okay? And so then if I make a YouTube video talking about this, if I'm on my podcast and I mention this and I tell people to go find it, they go to my website, 
they find my cheat sheet. And to get it, they have to leave their name and email address. So if you want to get my cheat sheet, I just ask you, leave your first name and your email address, and I'll send you the cheat sheet. And then by filling out this form, I'll sign you up for my email list, which means you're going to get some introductory emails from me, and then you're going to get a weekly email from me, unless you unsubscribe. You can also unsubscribe right away, of course. No problem if you want to do that. But a lot of people find it valuable to stay subscribed. And so now I've given people some free value. And because I've done that, I've sort of earned the right, you know, to tell them about my online courses. And that's that's how it works, really. Get in front of people on YouTube, a podcast, or wherever. Say, hey, I've got this free thing. Want to check it out? People go to uh, what's called a landing page like this one. They sign up with their first name and email address. I send them something valuable. And then here's the magic of ConvertKit. You might be thinking, what's this ConvertKit thing? What do I need it for? On YouTube, I have no way to really contact you. I can make new videos, but it's very difficult for me to repeatedly get in front of you, no matter how good my content is, right? This is not about me spamming you. This is about me giving you some value and repeatedly giving you value. But it's very hard to get in front of you. I don't have your email address, for example. So by getting your email address, I can talk to you repeatedly until you listen. Like, I can help you with more stuff, okay? And if you sign up for my email list, the first thing you're going to get is you're going to get a sequence of emails. So here's how that works. In ConvertKit, I've said, when someone signs up for a freebie, okay, or when they register for one of my webinars or anything like that, send them a welcome sequence, okay, unless they've already got it before. That's why this kind of looks advanced, you know, but there's this kind of neat little workflow here that I really love. And so this welcome sequence is just literally a series of emails. There's five emails in here right now. And it's just me telling the person who signed up to my email list a little bit about myself. And I'm sending them to some of my YouTube videos that are my most popular ones or my most useful ones. And you show them like, hey, this is me. Um, and then the next day I tell them something else, give them a little bit more value. And then on day three, I'm like, hey guys, maybe you're interested in my online course and you wanna check it out, okay? This is really how it works. If you wanna be successful selling online courses, this is the basic formula. Get in front of people, get their email addresses, and then meant like sell your course to them okay so of course your course has to be something really valuable that people want to pay for and stuff but this is the basic formula and so convertkit is so handy because it automates all this stuff let's see how many emails i've sent through convertkit i have sent 175,000 emails through convertkit okay and these are all, all automated right so this includes um well they're not all automated this includes my automated welcome emails my sales emails that go out to everybody so i can be sleeping and someone discovers my video, they're like, hey, that cheat sheet sounds useful. They click through my cheat sheet, they leave their name and email address, and then over the next few days, I tell them a little bit about how one of my courses can help them, and they may sign up to my course, and guess what? Money is coming in, in Teachable, right? Um, I can be sleeping, I can be on vacation, and this is, all, this is always happening. Now, there's a lot of detail and nuance, and we can talk about that in future videos, but that's the basic process. And um, so another thing I do is I send those weekly emails. So for example, every Sunday, I send an email so I can say, hey, let's go send an email, and I want to only send it to people who have agreed to receive my weekly articles, okay? Just make sure that only those people get it, like, oh, it's 2,627 at the moment. And then I can just say, Sunday email for, what is it, um, January 10. It'll probably have a different title. I'll say, hey, folks, um, this is what I was thinking of this week, et cetera, et cetera. Or if I want, I can actually say, hey, hey, John, if their first name is John, or hey, Jane, you know. Um, so that's what ConvertKit does for you. Super helpful. And the value of having an email list over and above just having, say, a YouTube channel, um, Twitter followers, Instagram followers, whatever, is that having an email list, you're owning this asset, which is a list of email addresses, um, a list of people. You gotta think of them as people. People that you can reach out to repeatedly and say, hey, I've got more value for you. I want to teach you more stuff. Are you interested? Not everybody's going to be interested, but some people are. So that's the basic flow, okay? Um, Teachable is the hub of it. It's where I put my online courses. It's where people can buy my online courses, where they can access, and that's all automated. Like, I don't have to do anything. You know, of course, if people have questions, they can email me. They leave a comment. I answer those, but it's pretty hands-off. You make it once, and then it runs, and I like to improve my courses over time, so I'll be adding new lessons or updating lessons. There's some maintenance, but really the bulk of it is just one-time work. Um, and then I use ConvertKit 
to maintain a list of email addresses. So if someone buys my course, they weren't yet on my email list, I also add them to my email list just so I can tell them about any future courses that I may have, okay? And finally, I create free stuff like these videos right here on YouTube and then ask people, hey, will you go, uh, or like here's something else you might like, you know, leave your name and email address um, and I'll teach you something in exchange for me letting you pitch you a little bit. That's the basics. You can do this too, okay? If you have skills, and I guarantee you have skills, if you are sometimes teaching people about stuff, whether professionally or just teaching your friend how to do something, you can make online courses, you can make money with online courses, and in fact, you can make a living with online courses. So start with the basics. Start by setting up a course platform. I highly recommend Teachable. Use the link in the description below the video. Sign up for software that lets you maintain an email list. ConvertKit's the, the best one out there, not expensive. Sign up for ConvertKit, also again with the link in the description. Start building that email list. At first, just ask friends and family if they you know, want to be on your email list and start emailing them maybe once a week or something like that. Just some stuff on the topic that you're thinking of making an online course about. Invite people to give you ideas for your course, okay? Then start creating free content on platforms where people already are, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, right? And point people to a form where they can sign up for your email list, set up an automated sequence of emails to sell them your course, and that's it. Okay, I'm making it sound really simple. It is gonna take some hard work, of course. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but this is the basics, and I wanted to show it to you. If you found this interesting, let me know. I need this feedback because if you really found it useful, I will create more videos like this one to show you the details of how I use Teachable, how I use ConvertKit, um, how my sales funnels work and all that kind of stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this. Have a great day.